What's good, family? What's good? What's good? It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. Now we are in the Eastern and Western Conference Finals. I'm going to give you a preview of each finals. I'm going to give you each conference finals. And I'm going to give you my picks. We're going to start with the Eastern Conference Finals. Of course, I'm rolling with Toronto. I'm rolling with Toronto. Not easily. <laughs> I'm rolling with Toronto because I, I picked... Uh, I obviously this is something I've given thought about because I already picked Toronto to come out the East. Obviously, so so what we can here's here's my reasoning. What I think Toronto should do is this. Toronto has some big bodies with Gasol. Um, with Gasol, with um. With Gasol, with Ibaka, take those big bodies and let make Giannis work for it. Stay at home with the shooters, because they're basically doing in Milwaukee the same thing Houston was doing with James Harden. Basically the same shit. So, basically the same shit. So. And at the end of the day, come fourth quarter, even though he's bigger, you could put Kawhi on. I like the diversity in how the Raptors move, what they can defend. Yes, the Bucks won three out of four games, one of them being in Toronto. But that one game they won in Toronto, Kawhi wasn't there. Kawhi wasn't playing. So looking at, I, I'm taking the Raptors. I'm taking the Raptors. Because also when I'm looking at the Raptors, looking at Milwaukee, I don't think they've really, really been challenged. You know, because Toronto ain't Boston. You give Toronto some... Toronto's built for adversity. Toronto, they win, they're going to win a seven-game series. It's going to be a seven-game series. They're not running away from anybody. They're built for adversity. And it's basically going to be who's better between Kawhi and Giannis. And I think Kawhi is a millimeter better. That's what it's going to come down to. I'm rolling with the Raptors. Second series, Western Conference. You got the Curry brothers going at it. You got the two best backcourts in the NBA going at it. You got the Blazers against the world champion Warriors. Minus KD. Now, I said KD's going to be out for game one. I think he's going to be out for game two. So, the first two games in Golden State, they won't have Kevin Durant. And I think it's not going to hurt him as much because the first two games will be at home. And, you know, guys feed off better with the home crowd and etc. Um, My thing looking at this series is... KD not being there makes this a great series. Because with KD, the fact that Portland doesn't have anyone to throw at KD and to make KD work, Warriors will win in six games tops. I say five. But without KD, this is going to be a very, very tough series. Without KD, this series can go seven games. Because even if the Warriors win both games, they can go to Portland and lose both games. Games three and game four. I think Lillard is ready. I think CJ McCollum is ready. And what's going to make this that much more interesting is CJ McCollum and Damian Litter are better off the dribble than Steph Curry. Steph Curry may have a better handle than Lillard, but he's not physically as strong or an athlete that Lillard is. So, those two guys are better off the dribble. Much better off the dribble. Much better in one-on-ones. And when you put that in with Collins playing well. I like Collins a lot coming out against Zach. I liked him a whole lot. With Collins coming out against Zach, Cantor's playing well. They can get any contribution for Rodney Hood. Because you know Harkless and Amino are going to play defense. But offensively, they're not really there. Um, how long is Golden State going to continue to get these contributions from other players? You know, 
they got big contributions with Quinn Cook and he played well. Jordan Bell came in the game, gave minutes. They can continue to get that. I think they'll win the series. I think they'll win. It's a big if. At the end of the day, I'll still say they're the champs. I'm saying Golden State in six. Because I don't think KD is going to miss the entire series. I think he's going to miss the first two games. And if anyone has had a strained calf, you could leave it alone for a week. You start running, by the third step, pop, it does it again. You think you're feeling all right? You think you're feeling all right? And pop, it does it again. So, I want to see him in the series because at the end of the day, I want to see him healthy if they make the finals. But until then, no KD, Warriors in six, maybe seven games. That's my take. That's my pick. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Let me know how you feel in the comments. Your boy, Urban Sports Guru. I'm out. Salute.